Manchester City Football Club, one of the greatest on the pitch in recent times. Have they broken the rules though? That's a completely different conversation. Today I'm heading down to soak up the atmosphere or, or potential lack of it, because from what I see, it hasn't got a good reputation. For once I'm actually starting my journey further up the country in Leeds. And something else that's different is I'm not actually driving. I'm being picked up in the Merc and I've been warned that it's got brown leather. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Brown leather. Yeah. This is Harris, by the way. He's joining me today. He's part of the family. Hi. You all right? Harris, a huge Leeds fan, living in Leeds as well. Take note, Ellis Platten. And our hour or so journey to Manchester sees us past Ellen Road. Apparently, we're all Leeds, aren't we? Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. It's a ground I haven't ticked off yet, so hopefully we can do that soon. But right about now, we focus on Manchester. And I'd love to hear from you guys who have been to the Etihad before. What's your thoughts on the match day experience? Underrated? Overrated? Dull? Or was it amazing? Let me know, let me know. Even though we have hit traffic, I've got to say the scenery here on the M62 is absolutely beautiful. And as we enter Manchester, shades of sky blue are starting to appear. I'll tell you about Harry, she knows people. Even for parking, so we won't be parking here. We'll be parking a lot closer, trust me. Mind you, his contact didn't get back to him, so we are still searching for parking. We've found somewhere. It was actually the smell of fish and chips opposite the ground that lured us in. How much is parking in here going to cost us? It was ten of last season. Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry. They've actually gone from the smell of fish and chips to the smell of freshly cut grass. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Now all we've got to do is work out where we're actually going. I personally hate maps that don't say you are here on them. Just more hassle. Get in there! By the way, this is Man City's opening game against Ipswich Half and Half Scars on sale. We've pretty much made it where we need to be. All I can hear in my head right now is... Aguero! It's up there, if not the most iconic moment in Premier League history. This will be our entrance today, the East Reception, City. And you'll notice there's no turnstiles here. We've been upgraded as we head down the blue carpet. Tickets also scan for us because we're incapable of doing that ourselves. And it's up to level two to the Citizen Suite, where wristbands are placed on and we're then led to our table. But where did this upgrade come from? There we go, my friends over at Limitless Hospitality. They've sent me to plenty of places in the past, including West Ham, Tottenham, Man United, Southampton, Fulham. We've done Crystal Palace as well. But today is the best club in England, Man City. So if you're after tickets for the biggest and best events around, whether it's sports, right through to music festivals, and concerts, head to the link in the description. It's limitlesshospitality.co.uk. So we reach our table and I'm immediately greeted with the match day program. And on the TV next to me, controversially, Man United are on it. They're facing Brighton. You're probably thinking, geez, Smith, this happened ages ago. Can't rush these things. You have to wait for the new website to launch. Limitlesshospitality.co.uk. Our waitress has arrived, so I better check out the menu. Bosch, first up, starters. Oh, it's all very posh, isn't it? But I'm going to go for the carrot and coriander dal soup, only because of the onion bhaji. Big up the onion bhaji. And look at that. Within minutes, it's arrived. Harish gone for the same thing, too. Look at the form on the waitress there, hand behind the back. I always find before tucking into these things, I think I've have a burger or a pie, but we go with it. We slurp it all down until it's pretty much all done. Next up, it's situated behind us. We can go for the proper old school carvery. No, really, that's what they're calling it. A proper old school carvery. We've got a choice between brisket, bacon loin, salmon, or the vegetarian version in the wild mushroom, roast, courgette, white bean, strong enough. No thanks. Now, before I go up, I just had a feeling. I had a feeling Brighton were going to do something. Hence me whipping the camera out and catching this moment. <laughs> Anyway, back to the food, the mains, the proper old school carvery. I was sort of torn between the slow braised brisket and of course the barbecue pork loin. Great shots by the way, Smithy. So I took a leaf out of Harish's book and got both. We then load up on the veg, on this mash by the way, better than Marks and Spencer. What have I become? Anyway, don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to polish this one off. I didn't know at the time, but we'd end up becoming friends with these two guys on the opposite side of the table. Americans watching Premier League football for the first time. Go team. Fight and win. How many minutes will we have now? Uh, about 15 minutes. <laughs> Talking to 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, we were walking out. My first time at the Etihad. Can't lie. It looks all right. <laughs> Once again, big up to Limitless Hospitality, bringing us in the halfway line seats. Oh, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 Got to get those shots. This isn't the only game. Over the next week, they're doing Liverpool, they're doing Chelsea, they're doing Arsenal. These guys got into the game during COVID. They haven't got the knowledge of most fans in this stadium, but they're here to learn and they're here to soak it up. Fair play to them. There will be a hospitality seat without it being padded, and this is very much padded, I tell you. Initial thoughts are it looks like a decent gaff. And given this is the first home game back since last season, of course, after making history four in a row, they're going to reflect on that before kickoff, and I don't blame them. Okay, so that's what trophies look like. Welcome back to the Etihad Stadium. Please welcome the two teams. Now we've got a bit of a job on our hands to make sure that thing don't fall down. Guys on the left look a bit more in control for me. We eventually do see a football pitch with players on it. Champions in fact, and of course, newly promoted in Ipswich Town. Can't kick off though until everything is off the pitch, including plastic bottles. Would I line our attention to detail, although the wind had other plans. <laughs> <laughs> he is thorough though, he will get rid of this. So with bottles off the pitch, can it be bottled on the pitch? Well, it's a beautiful day for an upset. And in the seventh minute, Ipswich fans in dreamland.
some of the finest limbs you'll ever see, I think you'll agree. But for those that are able to cast their mind back, you may remember that this game actually had quite a few goals in the first, well, let's have a look. Two minutes after the Tractor Boys go 1-0 up, penalty shout for City. The rest been called to the screen and the learning out of USA continues. So they told him, you go look at this because I want it to be your decision, <laughs> right? I mean, basically, and, and they saw it up there, and they saw the, the foul. Yeah. That's correct. And the penalty was given. And who else? Oh. Hey! in Haaland. Who's that ginger fella that don't play as much these days? Kevin! Ah, De Bruyne, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne. So it's 2-1. They turned it around in four minutes, but then... Wow! Three goals, six minutes, ladies and gentlemen, Man City. And that all just went really quiet. I genuinely think the only way to keep this place rocking is score every two minutes. They'll be fine. Here's a reconstruction of what Pep's saying on the bench right now. Did it go for dessert? Did it say? Or is it just a mixture of desserts? I don't know. The lads in front heard the word desserts and made a dash for it. You could say they deserted. Yeah, tough crowd here. Anyway, that calls time on the time in the first half, and now it's time for the half time. Time. Lovely pair of dad shoes in front. We then return to our tables, and I can only describe this as a medley of desserts. You got this one, which was all right, and then the main one it looked like was this one. Down the hatch, I can't actually remember what it was like, so I'll have to rely on my reaction, which was, um, it was all right. Severe lack of chocolate, although my schnozzle discovered these. Chocolate brownies. Down the hatch, this one goes, and this was much more vocal. Oh, well. Brownie. Problem is, I'm on a bit of a diet, so I can't have too much. Harris, you're not having your second? There you go. I've had three now. I can't do one. <laughs> Back out for the second half, and I did find it strange how Pep left Foden out the squad today. Even crazy, as you can see, he's sitting with us in the stands. Despite 3 1 down, Ipswich fans are making the noise today. They're just happy to be here right now. City fans more disgruntled, if anything. I don't know what they want. Five, six, seven. Thing is, they're up against a team where it's all about damage limitation. Goal difference could easily send Ipswich down at the end of the season. Which is why this second half has been a bit of a boring one. Oh, look, a crane. My American friend currently getting a photo of the football to football. About time too. I was here. I saw it all. City fans then got bored and did the Poznan. I've really not got much to say other than glad the sun's out. But at the end, there was one final thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> So, a Haaland hat-trick can only mean one thing for me. Plenty of points in the bag. Join the FPL League if you dare. <laughs> well, that brings our hospitality at the city ground to an end. Tell a lie, cheese and fruit is available. I think we'll allow that and mosey on out of here. So let's recap on what we got for our Citizens Lab tickets today. A complimentary program on arrival. It was table service on the starters. That soup was actually nice. The main's a buffet-style carvery. This actually went down really well. It wasn't fine dining, it was just right. Following that, we headed out for the first half, padded seat style. Treated to four goals in very quick succession. Then it was back in for some very nice brownies, I have to say. They, they, they were really good. Of course, the second half didn't really come to life, but from a hospitality point of view, yeah, thumbs up from me. But this one, you're looking at 350. But those prices can go up and down depending on the fixture, of course. If you want to switch things up for an occasion one day, make sure you check out Limitless Hospitality. And I'll be heading around the corner very soon to Old Trafford, so make sure you look out for that one. I'll leave you with shots of our journey down the M62 back to Leeds, where there's a farm that sits bang in the middle of it. The rumours date back decades, where apparently when they wanted to build the motorway, the farmers said no, so they basically built around it. Having searched these rumours, that's not true. See ya! <laughs>